Hello, I'm here at a local restaurant called Rocafoli with Jessica Alquist. Um, I just want to ask you a few questions. So, tell me about the Freedom from Religion Foundation flower. Okay, um, the Freedom from Religion Foundation wanted to send me flowers, and so they called, I think, six different local florists in my area, and um, they all refused to send me the flowers. Um, one of them actually came right out and said, we won't send flowers to that atheist girl. And so they were stunned, and um, I guess eventually they found one flower shop that was willing to send me the flowers, and now there are like eight or nine bouquets at my house waiting for me. How did you find out about it? Did like, the Freedom from Religion Foundation tell you, or did you I don't know, find out about it some other way? Yes, they, they told me. Okay. So uh, you said that you did research on the history of the nation. What, what, did you add, what did you look up? What did you find out? I started doing a lot of research on our, specifically our founding fathers and um, what their beliefs were about separation of church and state. And I started studying the First Amendment um, and, and just a lot of uh, the principles yeah. in the forming of this country. Yes, yeah, that's secular. Are you familiar with the Treaty of Tripoli? Yes. Yeah, Article 11. This nation was not in any sense founded on the Christian. That's all you need to tell people when they say it's a Christian nation. Okay, so how has your life changed since all of this has happened? Well, it's been, you know, the course of a year and a half, and it's changed entirely. Um, my views, um, um, both religion, my community, myself, it's all changed. Uh, I know now that I, this is what I want to do, and that I do have an activist spirit, and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. And getting all this support has really changed things for me too. A year and a half ago, before all this, I didn't know this community existed. I had no idea. Yeah, it's out there. Whenever something like this happens, everyone is out to support. Okay, I want to ask you about the police escorting you to your classes. Yes. Wow. And that, that really shows the gravity of the situation in my opinion. That has to so you said that it doesn't really make things better. It really makes things sort of worse. It ensures my safety, which, yes, that's important. But at the same time, if you're trying to not draw attention to me, having police escorts to my classes is, is not helping. And it, it is awkward, and it's tough to be with my friends and everything because they're there. It's uncomfortable for everybody. Yeah. Any, your, have you thought that maybe this will be the homeschool or anything like that? As far as my education goes, we don't really know yet. Anything could happen at this point. The one thing I can guarantee is that I will never go to LaSalle, which is a Catholic school that everyone's saying I don't go to. Not going to Catholic school, ever. So I would do that. But if I did, they would have the right to pray, considering it's a private institution. Just throwing that in there. Well, Jessica, you're a hero. And everyone is behind you. Thanks for that.